गुड इवनिंग गाइज कैन ऑल हियर मी एम आई ऑडिबल आदेश yeah it's clear right okay okay guys so today we are supposed to start off with uh, 2017 part 2 paper to start off guys uh, 2015 paper 2016 paper is already completed and it is already uploaded to the youtube also so 2017 mcq is also uploaded so today we our target is to complete 2017 part 2 paper completely so guys as i always tell you all we are not going to do the case study question we will be doing case study question from 2015 to 2022 in one session so we are going to skip the case study question for today and we are going to move on with what uh, question number 2 can i know guys how many of you have completed this can i know how many of you have completed this can i know how many of you have completed the second question yeah you all can raise your hand or else uh, you all can just put a message yeah yes guys uh, please uh, make sure that you all do it and come for the class that's it uh, the day before the class itself i am uploading what are you all supposed to complete and come the reason then only it will be effective then only you will get some sort of a doubt or anything if not when you are coming for the class without doing and when you are just seeing is screen and wait everything will be easy everything will be very clear everything will be like you know but in the exam final you will struggle so make sure that attempt your paper like make sure, make sure that you attempt the paper and come for the class then clear all your doubts and go home safe okay guys so to start off with uh, 2017 part 2 second question so the initial question itself they are asking as what what is a business so what is a business in the sense what are the key things which you all should answer uh, what is business business is an economic business is an economic activity business is an economic activity economic activity which fulfills human needs and wants needs and wants through goods and services so this is the perfect definition for the what guys a uh, perfect complete definition for the what perfect complete definition for the business so what is mean by business these key words should be in your answer what is mean by business a uh, business is an economic activity first thing is what business is an economic activity which fulfill human needs and wants which fulfill human needs and wants through goods and services so these three things should be in your answer so what you can say business is an economic activity which fulfill human needs and wants uh, through goods and services is known as what a uh, business next one is what name to parties who are interested in business activities can i know one name like rather than saying interested parties what can they say rather than saying interested party what else can they say can everyone give a reply rather than saying interested parties what can they say ah uh, they can also say stakeholders right now here how cunning they are without saying stakeholders without saying stakeholders ah uh, now they are saying something called interested party now you people should be brave enough to understand they are talking about stakeholders here now how many stakeholders you all can name right simply they are asking only two right example you can say as what here they haven't given you all any case or anything right directly they are asking for the stakeholder so you can also directly write down the stakeholder as what owner right manager owner manager employees 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 customer competitor like that uh, uh, government like that you all can just write all these stakeholders and what provide the answer for this question very easy right next one is what state whether the following statements are true or false 
things that man should necessarily fulfill in order to exist are human needs. Can I know is it, is it true or false? The essential things, is it true or false? Uh, first one is what? It is true, guys. And also make sure that you all write it as true. Eh? Don't put like this or anything. Please don't put uh, uh, correct or wrong. Because in the exam, sometimes they might not give the marks. They are asking whether it is it true or false. So make sure you all write it as what? True or false in words. Okay, please do that. Eh? So the things that man should necessarily fulfill in order to exist are human needs. True. Next one, according to the nature of the product produced, business are classified as public and private business. Guys, can I know is it true or false? Can I know is it true or false? Yes, it is false. Yes, it is false. Can I know according to the nature of the product, what are the two classifications? Can I know according to the nature of the product, according to the nature of the product here, according to the nature of the product, what are the two classifications? According to the nature of the product, what are the two classification? Uh, first one is what? Commodity. Commodity. Manufacturing business. First one is what? Commodity manufacturing business. And second one is what? Service providing business. Second one is what? Service providing business. So according to the nature of the product, how can we classify? Our commodity manufacturing business and service providing business. Now here they are saying as what well, according to the nature of the product they can classify as public and private it's in no right public and private can be classified based on what public and private can be classified based on what uh based on ownership right public and private can be classified based on ownership so according to this question what they have given is what false like that make sure that you all know every part of the theory yeah? next one is what the man-made things used in the production is a factor of production called labor so man-made things, is it labor? Man-made things, is it labor? Uh, man-made things, don't be confused. Man, Q, Ama, don't go and put the answer as labor. Man-made things, we don't call it as labor, right? The man, we call it as labor, fine. The man-made things, we call it as what? Uh, the man-made things are called as capital, right? Here they are saying it as labor. Therefore, this statement is also what? Uh, this statement is also false. Final one is what the liability of stakeholders of a limited company is limited to the capital by invested by them. Obviously, it's what we have studied as what incorporated company have limited liability, right? Therefore, the final statement is what true. Next one is what uh, there is a high demand for curd supplied by national. Let me highlight it. National Live Development Board that are sold in Samagi can conducted by employees of Sri Lanka. Telecom PLC. Write an example each for A, B, C, and D below the above case. Service providing business. What can you say as the service providing business? What can you say as the service providing business? Sri Lanka Telecom PLC. Sri Lanka Telecom PLC. You can consider it as a what? Service providing business. Okay. Sri Lanka Telecom PLC. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sri Lanka Telecom PLC. You, yeah, better Sri Lanka Telecom PLC, you can take it as a service providing business. Or else you can take what? Or else you can take Samagi Canteen. Uh, Samagi Canteen is also providing what? Samagi Canteen also what? Wait, yeah, it started. Yeah, Samagi. Guys, give me a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Samagi canteen also you can consider it as what guys? Samagi canteen also can be considered as a what? Service providing business because they don't produce anything no guys. Can you all remember what are the two things I taught you all? Can I remember, can you all remember what are the two things I taught you all in order to consider under the commodity manufacturing business? Can anyone remember? They should produce, they should produce and also that produce item should be a what? tangible thing right so if these two criteria are fulfilled only we can consider under the commodity manufacturing business here samagi canteen is not doing anything like that no guys uh, therefore we can consider samagi canteen is also what service providing business so either answer you can put as your answer next one is what public sector business guys public sector business board means what board means it is what kind of an organization can i know the type of organization board means what type of an organization is it can I know board means what type of an organization? I clearly taught your people in the seminar. 
board means what type of an organization is it board means what type of an organization is it i told you people it is what state corporation right can you all remember there are some similar names for state corporation like board bureau uh, authority like these are the things which we call for what state corporation right so even though you all don't know what business is it from the word board you can understand it is a state corporation right from the word board you can understand it's a state corporation so state q woman that itself gives you the meaning of what uh, it is belong to the public right so you can put as what nldb you can put as what national life development board you can consider it as a what public sector business remember if they use the word board bureau commission authority that is referring to a state corporation uh, if that is referring to the state corporation you people know what you people know what state corporation is a public sector business therefore you can take it as the answer next one they are asking for the what society right so you can take society as what uh, there are a high demand for the curd supplied in curd supplied by nldb that are sold in samagi canteen conducted by employees no guys uh, now see here there is a business organization called sri lankan telecom plc so in that uh, telecom plc there are some employees who are working that employees who are working there are doing a business so which means will they be having a motive to earn profit or anything no right they might be simply doing a society so it is for the well being of mem uh, members right example what is the definition of cooperative society can i know what is the definition of cooperative society it is a type of organization established in order to fulfill the need of members right in your textbook and the notes which i gave you all might be there so it is a type of organization established for the well being of members now sri lankan telecom plc the employees itself if they are doing a canteen for their for their own benefit right example they can go and buy from the canteen simply that's the idea here so what you should understand as uh, uh, that samagi canteen we can consider it as a what samagi canteen we can consider it as a what a society samagi canteen we can consider it as a what a society society in the sense we can consider it as a what a cooperative society next one is what welfare oriented business so which one we can consider it as a welfare oriented business guys can i know which one we can consider as a welfare oriented business here this one is uh, something for the purpose of development right nldb they are kind of a development business right they are into developing something right uh, therefore we can consider it as a what therefore we can consider it as a what therefore we can consider it as a what welfare oriented business therefore we can consider it as a what welfare oriented business nothing difficult no guys just a matter of simply figuring out the type of organization or names and you are putting in the answer that's what it's kind of a, like a scholarship something like there in scholarships and all they will be giving a small pack uh, passage and they will be they will be giving some options you also just select and put something like that no here girl nothing difficult here so just make sure that you all know the theory properly so the other things will be real easy these questions are really easy to answer uh. the second question third question fourth question and all there will be nothing difficult for you all to find everything will be direct everything will be easy the questions also will be very direct so easy just to, uh, you all are supposed to figure out the answer and what put the answer as it is Next one is what Sunimal conducts a business to sell shoes that are produced by using processed leather. Now, what is the human need satisfied by Sunimal business? Can everyone give me the answer at least for this question? Great ten first unit. What need are they fulfilling? Shoes. Shoes is it a food? No right. So simply you can consider it as a what? You can consider it as a what? As you people are saying, you can consider it as a what? Clothing. What need are they fulfilling? Clothing. Next one say. the processed leather what are they saying the processed leather used in the shoe production in the above case belong to the factors of production land do you agree with this statement state reason for your answer they are asking two question right first say me you people are you all agreeing with me are you all agree with this the processed leather is it a land processed leather is it a land processed leather is it a land no why do you say processed leather is not a land a processed leather q um you can understand it is processed right it is there is a human involvement right so can you consider it as a land can you consider it as a land no you can't consider it as a land so what you should write first one do you agree with this statement no so you should write as what no no you can put as what disagree no you can put as what disagree so they asking for what state reason for your answer so what you can say as your reason what you can say it as a reason 
uh, you can see processed leather processed leather processed leather is considered considered as a capital as a capital so this is what you show, uh, your answer should be guys very simple uh, very direct you all don't want to use high vocabulary you all don't want to use anything uh, but uh, anything but uh, which is uh, examiner should surprise or something like that you all just pro provide the answer you all can just what provide the answer in your simple raw language they will give you all the complete marks did you people understand the second question nothing difficult i didn't see anything difficult here right from the given scenario just you all should get some answers and write it down so that is what you all should write for the second question guys everything is from grade 10 right everything is from grade 10 nothing from grade 11 also everything from grade 10 okay okay next one is what yeah what is tech okay what is tech guys so what is tech so i i can write the answer here what is tech so these are the keywords that should be in your answer so check is a what check is a check is a written order Check is a written order made by made by the made by the grower made by the grower to grow it. Check is a written order made by the grower to grow it to make a to make a certain amount certain amount of payment certain amount of payment to pay guys simply this is what known as what check simply what is mean by this guys simply this is what known as check did you all understand here a check is a written order made by the what uh, drawer drawer is giving a check to what Grovy stating that what to make a certain amount of payment to the pay that is what known as what check that is what known as what check did you people understand simply use these keywords guys easily i can write the answer okay uh i have received some uh, answers guys for me as for me to check a check is a written order mentioning an amount to be paid paid by the drawy to the term which drawy to drawy those things are incorrect I just check that Sir, they are using leather for shoe production. So we can agree. So that's what they're asking, right? The processed leather, they're asking what? Is that processed leather? Is it a land? No, it's not a land, right? Why? Well, it is not coming from the natural resource, right? So it is processed leather, right? Processed leather means there is some sort of a human involvement, right? Therefore, it is definitely a capital. You can't consider it as a land. So answer should be no disagree. And it is what? What's the reason you are considering for the disagree part? Because it's a what? It's a capital. So that's how your answer should be. So this is the definition for the word case. This is the definition for the capital. Next one is what? Write two principles of insurance. How many principles we studied? Uh, we have studied three principles. No, guys. First one is what? First one is what? Insurable. Insurable interest. Insurable interest. Utmost good faith. And what? utmost good faith and indemnity so these are the three principles of insurance nothing over here to explain insurable interest utmost good faith and what indemnity next one is what state whether the following statements are true or false a bank which lends money on jewelry can insure the pawn jewelry is it true or false guys can i know is it true or false it is not directly from your theory it is not directly from your textbook but a question like uh, which you can connect and answer can i know is it true or false Guys, welfare-oriented business means there are business which don't have motive to earn profit. Is it true or false? Can I get the answer from everyone? Yeah. 19 student has replied. Others others also can all provide the answer. Is it true or false? Let it, be, let it be correct or wrong. No issues at all. Let it be correct or wrong. No issues at all. You all can just provide your answer. Okay, now see here, guys. What are they saying? A bank which lends money on jewelry can insure the pawn jewelry. Let's assume. You have some sort of a jewelry. You have some sort of a jewelry. So what, what you are doing is you are going to the bank. You are going to the bank and you are giving those jewelry. You are giving those jewelry. And you are giving those jewelry to the bank and you are getting some money from the bank. Uh, now bank took your jewelry and bank gave you some money. Bank gave you some money. 
Now, with the bank, what do the bank have? A uh, bank have some pawn jewelry, right? So there is a risk for the bank. There is a risk for the bank where people or where any thief can come and steal those jewelry, right? So what the bank can do? A uh, bank can ensure that, right? Bank can what? Ensure that, right? Uh, simply that is what the bank which lends money can on jewelry can insure the pawn jewelry. Obviously, they can insure it because they have a risk, right? The bank have a risk, no guys, why people can come and take that and go, right? Uh, there is a risk for the bank perspective. From banks, there is a risk for it. Uh, therefore, they can insure it, right? So, this statement is true. Okay, like this, you should be able to practically argue and get the answer. Next one is what? The feedback is not essential to complete the communication process. No, right? It is starting from sender message medium and there will be a receiver response and finally there should be something called feedback, right? In an MCQ, can you people remember I draw the complete diagram and I explain you all. I drew the complete diagram and I explain you all, right? The final process is what? Feedback, right? So feedback is also an essential thing. Feedback is an essential thing. Here they are saying not essential. It's in. Therefore, this statement is what? Therefore, this statement is what? Therefore, this statement is what? False. Next one is what? The permission given by a bank to withdraw money exceeding the balance in the savings account is known as overdraft facility. Can you all provide me the answer? Is it true or false? See, is it true or false? See how cunning the examiner are. Okay, guys, there is a question from a student. Can you explain the uh, previous question A? I'll explain. I'm getting both the answers. Sir. I'm getting both the answer. Uh, I'm getting true. Also, I'm getting false. Can you people say whether is it true or false? Many people are saying it as true. Some people are saying it as false. Others, others, others. Guys, remember carefully. See what they are saying. The permission given by the bank to withdraw money exceeding the balance in the savings account. Guys, same. Is it in the savings account? Is it in the savings account? Is it savings account or current account? Uh, overdraft can be obtained in the current account, right? Overdraft can be obtained only in the current account, right? Uh, see how cunning the examiner. Like you all my all of a sudden you all will be reading this uh, permission exceeding the bank balance overdraft. Kela, you will just put it as true. But here they are talking about savings account, right? Uh, as he is talking about the savings account, this statement will be what? False. In savings account, can you withdraw money than your balance? No, right? If you have 100,000, you can withdraw only 100,000. You can't withdraw money exit. What, uh, you can't withdraw money more than your balance. Okay. Next one is what? A country bringing in products from other country is export rate. Is it true or false? Bringing in products. Products are coming inside the country. From a foreign country, we are buying products. Is it import or export? It is again import. No, guys. They are saying it as export. Therefore, it is what? False. Therefore, it is what? False. Guys, a student had a doubt. Uh, can I know which question exactly are you referring to? Is it question number 3A or question number 3B? Is it question number 3 or question question number 3A or B? I saw one, someone had asked a doubt. Uh, A, right? A, what are they asking? What is a check, right? What is a check? Can I like, like just they are asking for the definition. So check means what? It is a written order. Like in the writing format only, it will be there. Who is giving to whom? A drawer is giving to the drawer. Drawer means the current account holder. Drawer means the bank. A current account holder is giving the check to the bank to pay some amount of money to the pay. Uh, simply that is what known as what? Check. Simply that is what known as what? Check. Now next one is what? Third one. Business activities become efficient by expanding the Colombo port. Name the element of transportation uh, which is directly related to the above statement. So can I know which one is directly related to the above statement guys? Business activities become uh, efficient by expanding the Colombo port, uh, port right? So Colombo port means what you all know. Colombo port means what you all know. Port is a what, guys? Uh, port is a what? It's a terminal, right? Port is a what? Terminal. So therefore, for the A, what you can say as the answer? Terminal. Terminal. Next one is what? Sumati Pala purchases potatoes in large scale from Ramachandra. Ah, this is a nice question, guys. Okay. Just concentrate. Don't do anything. Just concentrate. What I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll use this space. Eh? Sumati Pala purchases potatoes in large scale from Ramachandra. So let me take this Sumati Pala. Let me take this Sumati Pala. Sumati Pala. Okay. He is purchasing from whom? 
is purchasing from Ramachandran. Is purchasing from Ramachandran. See here, Sumatipala purchases potatoes in large scale from Ramachandran, who is a potato farmer in Jaffna. Ah, this is a potato farmer in what? Jaffna. So this potato farmer in Jaffna is selling to whom? Selling to Sumatipala. Now what's happening? And what's happening? And sells them to Pial, who is a trader. Ah, now Sumatipala, what he is doing? Ah, Sumatipala is selling those things. Sumatipala is selling those things to whom? To Pial. Sumatipala is selling those things to whom? Pial, who is a trader in weekly fair and sumana who sells vegetable to consumers and he is selling also to what guys sumana who is what who sells vegetable to consumers by keeping them in front of her house now now just concentrate properly guys now just concentrate properly see this part properly again i'll read here sumatipala purchases potato in large scale from ramachandran here our sumatipala is purchasing from ramachandran who is a potato farmer in Jaffna? He is a potato farmer in Jaffna in the fine. And sells them to Pial, who is a trader in weekly fair. And sells them to what? Pial, who is a weekly trader. And also he is selling to what? Uh, and also he is selling to Sumana. Sumana, who sells vegetable to consumers by keeping them in front of her house. Now, Sumana is also keeping in front of her house and selling. Now, see here, guys. Now, see this part properly. Now, see this part properly. What they are asking here? Name a wholesaler, name a wholesaler and a retailer in the above case. Name a what? Wholesaler and retailer in the above case. Now, who is a wholesaler, guys? What's the main purpose of a wholesaler? What's the main thing of a wholesaler? Who is the main one in the wholesaler, guys? What's the keyword which you all should remember? What's the key thing you should remember? Uh, wholesaler means it is for the reselling purpose, right? It is for the what? Reselling purpose. Wholesaler means what, guys? It is for the reselling purpose. It is for the what? Reselling purpose. Now, who are the wholesaler here, guys? Let me highlight in green color. Who are the wholesaler here? Now, see here. Ramachandran is selling to whom? Ramachandran is selling to whom? Ramachandran is selling to Sumatipala. Now, Sumatipala is he consuming? Sumatipala is he consuming? Uh, no, Sumatipala is selling uh, again, right? So, this Ramachandran can be considered as a what? This Ramachandran can be considered as a what? Wholesaler. So, what's the first wholesaler? First, who is the first wholesaler here? Uh, Ramachandran is considered as what? Uh, Ramachandran is considered as wholesaler. Next one, who can con who we can consider as a what? Who we can consider as a what? Guys, a wholesaler. This Sumatipala is also wholesaler, right? This Sumatipala is also considered as a what? Wholesaler, right? This Sumatipala also we can consider it as a what? Wholesaler. Why? Because these people are selling for the reselling purpose, right? Again, this Pial and Sumana is selling again, right? Uh, therefore, Ramachandran and Sumatipala we can consider it as a wholesaler. Guys, are you clear with the first part? Are you all clear with the first part? Ramachandran and Sumatipala, they are considered as what? Wholesaler. Because what? Uh, those two people are selling for the uh, those two those two people are selling for the reselling purpose. Are you people clear? Are you people clear? Now who are the retailers here? Now who are the retailers here? Uh, this PL and Sumana is selling for the final consumption, right? The people who are purchasing from the weekly trader or the pe people who are purchasing from Sumana who is selling in front of a house, uh, that is for the reselling, uh, sorry, that is for the final consumption. Uh, therefore, who are the retailers here? Who are the retailers here? PL and Sumana, you can consider it as a what? PL and Sumana, you can consider it as a what, guys? Retailer here. PL and Sumana, you can consider it as a retailer. Very easy question. If you all know the basic theory here, you all can just put a diagram and get the answer. So, if it is for the reselling purpose, it is wholesaler. If it is for the final consumption, it is retailer. So, PL and Sumana is selling for the final consumers. Therefore, it is for the final consumption. They are considered as retailer. And other two people are selling for the reselling purpose. Uh, therefore, they are considered as what? Wholesaler. So, in case if you all have any doubt, just uh, drop it quickly. I missed some doubt, I guess. Uh, when the 
chat goes for uh, i miss some doubts guys so in case if i miss anything just drop it again huh? okay next one is what taranga pereira who conducts a textile business issued a check on first of uh, october 2017 for rupees 8500 to gamini silva for purchasing a stock, stock of textile a format of a check is given below so simply they have given a check and what are they asking selecting from the above case write the write the information that should be written in a b c and d okay now what you should write for the a guys now what most of the student do is what most of the student make the mistake is they just go and write a dash date b dash pay c dash amount in words guys remember it is completely wrong the examiner will definitely put it stop they have given you all a case right above here above they have given you all a case no guys according to this case only you should provide the answer you can't just roughly write it as date pay amount in words scale so you should write according to the given thing guys so, so here what you should write so for the how you how are you supposed to write the answer uh, in your answer script you should put as a give me a minute guys in your answer script how are you supposed to write are you are supposed to put as a what is a guys you can't put it as date you are supposed to put this amount you are supposed to put this date guys what, what's the date first of october 2017 this should be your answer you can't go and just write it as date and come it will be wrong eh? you can't write as date most of them used to do that next one is what b what can you write in b uh, what is the theory no uh, b means we will be writing pay right b means we will be writing pay now what is who is the pay here see taranga pereira who conducts a textile business issued a check on 1st of october 2017 for rupees 8500 to gamini silver right so who is the pay here uh, who will be receiving from money uh, you can write as what gamini 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 silver gamini silver and next one is what for c what you can say for the c what you can say for the c what you can say 8000 amount in words right so you can say as what 8000 8000 8000 500 8000 500 8000 500 only so you can write like that next one for the d what you can say as what signature right guys and also uh, don't go and put your signature and come here okay uh, some people used to do uh, do that they used to nicely put their signature and come so don't go and put your signature here do you know the drover signature here do you know the drover signature here do you know the drover signature no right so just put the name as what just put the name as what taranga pereira and come okay just put the name as what taranga pereira so there is a question sir who is pay who is pay a uh, pay means pay means here according to our question who is pay guys gamini silva the ones who receiving the money is known as pay the ones who receiving the money is known as what pay simple as that guys are you clear with this check part guys are you clear with this check part anyone with any doubt are you clear with the check part i explained all in depth right in the seminar also the same thing they have repeated okay next one is what uh, state the drawer and drawee in the above check separately so who is drawer guys can i know who is drawer here who is the drawer here can i know who is the drawer here so the person who writes and signs the check is known as drawer right so who is the drawer here taranga pereira you can consider it as a what taranga pereira you can consider it as a what drawer and who is the drawee uh, you all know bank is the drawee right which bank check is that boc right therefore you can consider drawee as what therefore you can consider drawee as what Be, uh, ba bank of silo okay you can consider as uh, drawy as what bank of silo next one is what what is what is target market can i know guys what is target market what is target market so if i type it here can you all see if i type it here just i'll type just see whether can you all see or not okay guys can you all see can you all see if i type it here rather than writing it's difficult to write with this guys uh, yeah you can see right so who is what is target market guys so for the 
who is target market guys so for the target market you can say as what guys uh, in case if you all didn't hear me just let me know okay in case if you all didn't hear me let me know i hope you all can hear me so who is identified as target market guys the share of market the share of market that the business is that the business is willing to willing to willing to wait let me expand this wait guys if not it will be going long yeah the share of market that the business is willing to fulfill their needs and wants in a profitable and attractive manner is known as target market so simply what is mean by target market guys target market means example example who target market means let's assume i am going to start a business let's assume i am going to start a business now if i am going to target if i am going to start a business guys if i am going to start a business wait let me show you all properly if i am going to start a business i will be having a target market right i will be having a target market right what does that target market means a share of market that the business is willing to fulfill their needs and wants in a profitable and attractive manner is known as target market example who is my target market right now are the students who are doing o level and a level is my target market right which means i am targeting those people right is scholarship students is my target is scholarship students is my target no they are not my target right they are not my target because i am not targeting them uh, so i am providing my service i am providing my service for the o level and a level student which means that is my target market right for the clothing outlet for the clothing outlet the relevant people who are wearing those clothes is the target market the relevant people who are wearing those clothes is known as target market example if it is a fast food uh, restaurant the people who eat the fast food restaurant fast food is considered as the target market will they target the infant babies no right will they target infant babies no if it is some kind of a thing which is related to the babies will they target adults no who is their target market the babies are their target market right the infant ones are their target market right simply target market kya ne the relevant business the ones the relevant business target people like when they produce a good or a service definitely they will be targeting a set of customers right uh, that is what known as what target market that is what known as what target market next one is what right to benefits of investing in treasury bill can i know how many benefits are there in investing in treasury bill normally when you are investing in treasury bill how many benefits are there can i know how many benefits are there when you are in, uh, when you are investing in treasury bill there are how many benefits guys uh, there are three benefit right what's the first one what's the first one you can say as what security from the government security from government what's the first one security from the government second one you can say it as what fixed fixed interest rate second one you can say as what fixed interest rate third one you can say as what can convert to cash can convert to cash easily can convert to cash easily so these are the what guys so these are the three advantages or three benefits of investing in treasury bill to be on the safe side just go by knowing these three sometimes in your paper they might put for an mcqs guys so make sure that you all go by knowing these three don't confuse by collateral and all guys collateral and all not related to the treasury bill you can't use treasury bill as for collateral because it is short term treasury bill is a short term stuff ne guys so you can't use it for collateral to obtain bank loan and stuff sir. so remember only these are the three things which is in your syllabus where you all considered as a where you all can consider it as a advantage or benefit of treasury bill first one is what can uh, uh, convert to cash easily security from the government and fixed interest rate next one is what state whether the following statements are true or false one of the main objective of security and exchange commission of sri lanka is to maintain the share market in a fair and ordinary ordinary Lee, man, obviously, why do the share market is there, guys? 
uh, share market is there in order to sorry why do the securities and exchange commission of sri lanka is there uh, securities and exchange commission of sri lanka's main objective or main target is to monitor the share market bets. security and exchange commission of sri lanka is presented in order to what? monitor and supervise the monitor and supervise the what? share market of sri lanka as we have studied so that statement is what true next one is what when the risk of an investment increases expected return also increases so what did i taught you people risk and return positive or negative in the seminar series i taught you all can you all say me risk and return do have a positive relationship or negative relationship risk and return do have a positive relationship or negative relationship come on guys others also just provide the answer risk and return do have the positive relationship or negative relationship a smart student is like both it seems guys remember is there any positive relationship or negative relationship uh, always remember the risk the risk and the return do have a what positive relationship what does that mean if the re risk is high the return will also be high right if the risk is low the return will also be low simple as that here what they are saying when the risk of an investment increases the return is also increases true right there is a positive relationship between risk and return right so as i told you the risk and return do have a positive relationship so when the risk and return do have a positive relationship so when the risk is high or the when the risk is increasing when the risk is increasing definitely the return will also increase right when the risk is increasing definitely the return will also increase right uh, therefore the second statement is also what true the second statement is also what true third one is what only the process of designing a product to deliver it to the customer is marketing is it true or false is it true or false the ones who told us negative relationship make sure it is positive relationship uh, it is false no guys you all can remember right there are four marketing is like there is something related to the price there is something related to the product there is something related to the place there is something related to the promotion here they are saying only product it is not only about product no guys we have price we have promotion we have place everything right uh, therefore this statement is what therefore this statement is what false and next one is what management is necessary to business to maximize the use of limited resource obviously it is correct no guys obviously what it is correct right what is mean by this one what is mean by what do they mean actually what the, what do they mean is the, uh, the resources are limited no guys in order to utilize the limited resources definitely we should manage the business properly right management is necessary in order to utilize or use the limited resources so therefore this statement is also what therefore this statement is also what false oh, sorry this statement is true next one is what following are four functions done by a marketing manager of a business so they have given you all some things and what are they asking state separately into the management function into which variable marketing so can you all say me what is what are the four management function what did i ask you all to remember for the management function what did i ask you all to remember for the management function what did i ask you all to remember for the management function yeah i ask you people to remember it as what i ask you people to remember it as what policy planning organizing leading and control what is the key uh, what is the abbreviation which all should remember for the marketing mix what's the abbreviation that you all should remember for the marketing mix uh, marketing mix means what marketing mix you can say it as what four p's so policy means management function for the marketing mix you can say it as what four piece now let's go one by one so you all should from policy also you should take one from four piece also you should take for each one first one let's go one by one purchasing a van to distribute product so purchasing a van means well, they are doing something right they are doing something right therefore you can go with what therefore you can go with what organizing therefore you can go with what organizing and also they are to distribute the pro, uh, product now guys uh distribute means what you should understand uh it is related to the play, place right they are going to distribute which is connected to the what place 
second one is what uh, deciding means from the policy what did i taught you uh, deciding means they are talking about the planning right these things in depth i taught you all in the previous classes uh, that's in i'm not explaining each and every class if i'm going to explain uh, remember this organizing means doing something planning means deciding kela if i each and every class if i discuss guys we should discuss only few papers so in the initial few classes in the initial few papers in the seminars and all i took enough amount of time and i explained i in detail i explained you all right uh, if it is doing something organizing if it is planning means that is something related to the deciding so you people should keep that in mind so the ones who are new and the ones who are joining it for the first time there are youtube videos guys which i have already uploaded you all can just check that in that detailed i have explained everything uh, please check that uh. so here you can put as what planning so according to the four piece what they are talking guys according to the four, uh, four piece deciding to change the nature of the product right uh, so you can go with what product they are talking about product right so you can go with what product next one is what advising the sales employees to maintain good relationship with customer so what did i told you if it is anything related to the human what it is if it is anything related to the human like managing uh, or like uh, instructing that means it is connected to it in the policy it is connected to it so we already took p we already took uh, oh no guys is it leading or is it uh, controlling anything related to the human anything related to the human uh, the interaction with human those things are coming under what uh, those things we can easily take for what leading those things we can take it for what leading and also in four piece you can go with what promotion what's the reason uh, you are doing some kind of an indirect production right when you maintain a good relationship with customers you expect that they will come to the business again therefore you can go with the what promotion next one is what examining whether the expected sales income has been earned by implementing a process discount so you can go with what so comparing the actual and compare the actual results with the planned results is what uh, controlling so what you can go with the marketing mix guys a uh, marketing mix discount and all can you all remember in discounts i taught you right discount is connected to the what the variable of price discount is connected to what the variable of price so in the tutorial channel i gave you all a chart no guys so under the chart just go under the price and see there will be something called as what discount because discount is related to what price next one is what bandara who does not like to take high risk and expect to retire next month is considering the following to investment to investment his employ uh, epf fund now he has got some sort of epf fund now he is going to you uh, invest somewhere else now there are two investment option now directly you can provide the answer please make sure guys directly you can uh, write the answer because they are giving you a case about right uh, if they have given you all a case about you should provide the answer according to the case so what's the case they have given uh, here they are telling you people as what the bandara who does not like to take risk who does not like to what take risk okay he don't want to take risk now see here they have given you all two options they have given you all two options see investing in c investing in senior citizens fixed deposit second one is what investing in ordinary shares so what are they asking in this question what are they asking in this question out of the above investment out of the above investment okay out of the above investment which one would you recommend for bandara to invest now guys say me now say me properly think properly and say me which one will you all ask him to invest if you are bandara son think you as a bandara son now if you all are the bandara son what will you all say our father look here invest in option 1 no invest in option 2 think you people as a bandara son no daughter no which one will you all say which one will you all say which one will you all say will you all say your father to invest in option 1 no to some people are saying it as ordinary shares and some people are saying it as fixed deposit okay uh, now remember guys remember you have studied as what ordinary shares have a high risk right why because if the company goes in a loss or something there is a risk of not getting any return right but comparing to the fixed deposit it has a low risk right why because comparing to the ordinary shares the fixed deposit has a low risk why because the amount you invested you will be able to definitely collect right after a certain time period let it be one year or two year or three year 
after that time period definitely you can get the money which you have invested in fixed deposit no but the money which you have invested in ordinary shares suppose if the company went in loss or something there are instances where you can lose your money right there is a, there are there is a kind of a threat for you right uh, therefore it consists of high risk so according to our scenario our bandar your father uh, he is expecting or he doesn't want to take high risk so if he don't want to take high risk definitely you people as a good child you people as a good kid what you all are supposed to do uh, you should say father look here i have studied in commerce ordinary shares does have high risk therefore please go with the what fixed deposit so you all should say as the answer as what fixed deposit so here answer should be what fixed deposit right because comparing to the ordinary shares the fixed deposit have a low risk therefore you can say like that here next one is what state the reason for selecting the above investment now your father will ask father used to ask questions no guys ah, now he will be asking ah, look here son no daughter i had two option out of that two option you told me to invest in fixed deposit can i know what's the reason can i know what what's the reason now you as a good child you all should be able to say the reason no guys ah, now what will you all say what will you all say as the reason ah, now you all will be saying look here father in grade 11 unit number 8 Under the investment unit, I studied as what? Ah, uh, what? What is there? Ordinary shares, ordinary shares, ordinary shares, ordinary shares. Do have a, do have a high risk, high risk compared to compared to ordinary shares. Do have a high risk compared to Ordinary shares do have a, it is have. A, wait, let me write it properly. Ordinary shares do have high risk compared to fixed deposit. Therefore, therefore, investing in fixed deposit. therefore investing in a what therefore investing in a fixed deposit is a wise option wise option as we can get as we can get fixed Interest to guys, are you all clear? Guys, are you all clear? Guys, remember the exact words you all don't want to write. Uh, according to your English, you can write your words. Uh. The thing should be there. You all should write the thing. What is what I have written? Look here, fixed deposit is more safer than ordinary shares. So therefore, better to invest in fixed deposit. Kela, you all should be able to write in your own words. This is not English or literature paper, no guys. To see your vocabulary. to see what words you are using to see your grammars and all so based on your english based on your understanding if you all have put the words properly and if you fill the things properly it is more than enough guys did you all understand the business studies part did you all understand the business studies part very easy right others 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 can you all reply quickly Other smart students also can you all reply to this? Yeah, easy as A B C. <laughs> okay, others, others, others. Shall we move on to the accounting? Right. Okay. Let's move on to the accounting, guys. Uh, quickly. Let Let's move on to the accounting. Okay. Uh. Wait, let me take it to my working. Okay, let me use it here, guys. What is liability? Lib. What is liability? What is liability? The payables.
what is mean by liability guys i don't know why are they asking this kind of a simple basic easy question but in every paper they will be asking this guys whatever how easy it is no problem they will be asking it again and again so to be on the safe side make sure that you all know what make sure that you all know all the definition of all the elements eh? so what is mean by liability the payables of the business that had arose as a result of past transaction is known as what is known is known as liability okay anyone who is here do, who don't know this anyone who is here who don't know this liability thing what is liability kel the ones who are doing the exams in may the ones who are doing the exam in may and you all still don't know what is liability yes there are two students others others anyone i am not going to say anything guys yeah okay there are two students right uh, guys make sure that you all understand these things are very easy just take the book and go through this uh, it is very easy next one is what state two types of accounts that can be seen in ledger how many types of accounts you can see in ledger how many types of accounts you can see in ledger uh, there are five types of account you can see in ledger right first one is what assets account guys please don't go and write motor vehicle account equity uh, sorry motor vehicle account bank loan account kela don't write like that it will be wrong eh? you also write as what asset account okay equity account okay next one is what liability account liability account income account and expense account kela you can write the main terms eh? you can write the what main term asset account liability account equity account income account and what expense account next one is what write the double entry for the following transaction withdrawing rupees 2000 for the personal use of the owner can i know what's the double entry for this one can i know what's the double entry for this one first one here they are asking you all to write the double entry yeah? don't be a smart child and don't go and put that e accounts and don't go the former tenor and do anything like that here they are asking you all to write the double entry are uh, therefore just write the double entry that is more than enough so what's the double entry uh, if the owner is taking what's the double entry guys so last class i explained all how to go from accounting equation to what double entry now yeah here i'll directly write guys so what's the double entry drawings account drawings account will be debited and what account will be credited so when the owner is taking the business cash will decrease right so cash account will be what credited cash account will be what credited so for b what you can say purchasing a motor vehicle for rupees 500000 on credit from auto trader so what you can say a uh, motor vehicle account will be debited by how much debited by 500000 and you are purchasing it on credit from whom are you purchasing from auto traders therefore auto traders account should be what therefore auto traders account should be what credited therefore auto traders account should be what credited by 500000 guys if you all are not clear with the double entry and all there is one more chance for you all to cover everything in case if you all want to cover from basics everything one more time you all have to, like you all can come for the seminar series guys which will be started on 1st of april we will be covering everything from very basic what is asset what is what is income what is liability kala from the very basics we will be covering everything till the financial statements guys i hope you all came across the flyer i'll be putting the flyer today and tomorrow also to the group so make sure that if you all are joining If you all are joining just make sure that uh, you all register as soon as possible okay right uh, a student is like uh, auto traders is my uncle's business name <laughs> okay maybe yeah, let it be okay next one is what so they have given you all some transaction writing each of the above transaction with values now you all are supposed to write the transaction one by one let me take it to my working sheet guys so it will be easy for me Guys, can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? 
can you all see this screen? Yes, you all can see, right? Yeah, okay. Now see here, now you all are supposed to write the transaction with values, no guys? So let me like explain you all how to write it. See here, what is increasing? Uh, cash is increasing which correspond to that bank loan is also increasing. So what could be the possible transaction? Obtained, obtained a bank loan, obtained a bank loan, rupees 25,000, simple as that. Okay, next one is what? Second one, what is the second one? Just evaluate with me what's happening. Uh, stock is decreasing, data is increasing, profit is also increasing by 5,000. What's the transaction? Uh, if the stock is decreasing by 10,000 and data is increasing by 15,000, what will happen? Uh, you can write sold stocks, sold what? Stocks which cost rupees 10,000, which cost how much guys? Which cost rupees 10,000. That's it, a 10,000 decreases there in stocks. But you sold it for how much? Uh, 15,000, sold stock which cost rupees 10,000. For rupees 15,000. For rupees what? 15,000. For rupees 15,000 on credit. Why? Because data balance is now increasing. Therefore, you can consider it as a what? On credit. Remember, definitely in your answer, there should be the word on credit because if not, it will be wrong. Third one is what? Third one is what? Ru minus 7,000 cash, minus 7,000 rents. So obviously, you can easily write, right? So paid, paid rent. Paid rent rupees seven thousand and fourth one is what minus six thousand cash minus six thousand creditors means what paid to creditor cash decreasing means we have paid something no guys uh here for whom are we paying paid to creditor so paid to creditor rupees seven thousand sorry rupees six thousand so this is what you should write for the what first part of the question second one is what Stating separately increase or decrease of total assets and total liquidity during the week. Now, what is the total of the asset, guys? Can I quickly calculate and say me? What is, what is the total of the assets here? 200,000 plus 25,000 will be 225,000. 225 minus 10,000 will be 215,000. 215,000 plus 15,000 will be 230,000. 230,000 minus 7,000 will be 200,000. 23,000, 223,000 minus 6,000 will be 217,000, 217,000. Now, can you all say me what has happened to the asset, guys? Opening asset was 200,000. Opening asset was how much? 200,000. The closing asset is 217,000, which means what has happened to the asset, guys? Uh, increased by, increased by, Increased by rupees 17,000. Increased by rupees 17,000. Opening was 200,000. Closing 217 means it has increased by 17,000. Next one is what? 150 plus 5,000. 155 minus 7,000 is equal to 148,000. Now what you are supposed to do? Compare the opening and this one. Opening was 150,000. The closing balance is 148,000. Which means what has happened to the equity guys? Uh, equity has what? Decreased by decreased by 2000. So most of them, what they used to do, are they just used to add and put the total and come home. So they are asking separately increase and decrease, right? So you also should separately write it whether it is increasing or decreasing. Whether it is increasing or decreasing, color, you all should write it separately. So can we put like uh, selling 10,000 worth of goods for rupees 15,000? Yes, definitely you can put. The words which I'm using is not the thing here. If the thing what you have written is correct, if it is similar, that's correct. And also if you want to make sure like that, just send you answers. Eh? So I can read it and see whether is it correct or wrong. Okay. So make sure if you all have written something else, just let me know so I can check and say whether is it correct or wrong. So just don't look the screen and wait. Eh? Next one is what? Following up, uh, following up, what uh, purchase and sales journal prepared by business for the month of May 2017. Uh, simply you are supposed to complete this now guys. Let me take it to my working sheet.
Okay. Uh, now let's do this question. So let, I can do it here itself, right? Purchase uh, following a purchase journal and sales journal prepared by business for a month of uh, May 2017. They have given first one they are saying yes, but complete the above purchase journal and sales journal. Guys, you all draw it separately. Yeah? I'll do it here itself. So how can you complete this, guys? So 15,000 plus 4,800 will give you the answer. 19,800 will give you the answer. 19,800. Now in purchase journal, what am I supposed to write here? Now, how did I ask you all to remember? Guys, purchase is a which element? Purchase is a which element for the business? Purchase is a which element for the business? Purchase is a which element for the business? It's a what? Expense. Purchase is a what? Expense for the business. Now, say me expense increases debit or credit. Expense increases debit or credit. Guys, make sure that everyone give the answer. Huh? Make sure that everyone just provide the answer. Pur purchase is a what? Expense. Expense increases debit or credit. Expense increases debit or credit. Uh, expense increases debit, right? Expense increases debit. So here you can write as what? Here you can write as what? De that's how you should remember, guys. Debited to. Debited to. Debited to purchase account. Debited to purchase account. Next one, sell me. Uh, next one, sales journal, right? So I can get the total here. I can get the total here. Uh, 6,200 plus 3,000 will give you the answer. 9,200. Sales is a which element for the business? Sales is a which element for the business? Sales is a which element for the business? Guys, there is a question from a student. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I don't want to read the name. So he's like, uh, put the convert current pull on the other maggie girlfriend gave birthday. I forgot to wish. So I'll wish her in front of you and I'll leave. <laughs> Bro, you can see us there, as there after the class. So once after the class is over, I'll stop the recording. So I can unmute you. So you can what wish her or do whatever you want and you can leave. So by around 11 30, you can join back. Okay, by around 11 30, 11 30, 11 25, you can join and you can what wish your girlfriend in the class itself. So now let's do the work. Okay, uh, coming back to the topic, guys. Uh, yeah, coming back to the topics. Uh, sales is what, guys? Sales is what? Guys, sales is what? Uh, sales is what? Income. Sales is what? Income. Okay, sales is income. Now, income increases debit or credit. Income increases debit or credit. Income increases debit or credit. Uh, income increases what? Income increases what? Credit. Income increases what? Credit. So here I can write it as what? Here I can write it as what? Credited to sales account. Here I can write it as what? Credited to sales account. Nothing difficult here. Credited to sales account. So next thing what you are supposed to do? Recording the transaction in the above purchase journal and sales journal into the ledger account. Now you have completed your purchase journal and sales journal, right? Uh, now you are supposed to draw the ledger account. So let me complete the purchase journal part. First thing, what did we wrote here? Debited to purchase account 19,800. Uh, 19, so let me quickly draw my purchase account. Purchase account. So let me quickly draw my what? Purchase account. So purchase account should be debited by how much? 19,800 purchase account should be debited by 19,800 as what? Creditors. As what? Creditors. So who are my relevant creditors, guys? Uh, Nalaka is a creditor. Nalaka is a what? Nalaka account. Nalaka account. So Nalaka's account, you can credit 4,800. Nalaka's account, you can credit 4,800 as what? As Purchase as what? Purchase. Guys, can you see what you are, what I am writing? You can see, right? So next one, you can open account for what? You can open account for what? Vasana account. So Vasana's account, you can credit purchase, purchase, purchase fifteen thousand. Okay, purchase fifteen thousand. This is what you all should know. So this is what how you should transfer from what? Purchase journal to the ledger. Next, let's go for the sales journal part. 
and you should open a common account for what sales so what did we wrote in the sales journal uh, here we wrote as what credited to sales account right uh, so in sales account you can credit how much the total 9200 you can credit as what debtors you can credit as what debtors you can credit as what you can credit as debtors okay so here you can open who are the people mother account so 6200 should be debited as what as sales as sales so here you can open another account for what vimal account and you can debit 3000 as what sales guys did you all understand this question did you all understand the fourth question <laughs> guys that one is like give me a support it's in guys you all should be very responsible right if it is your girlfriend's or boyfriend's birthday wish it uh, 12 o'clock or something you all are coming next day and you are asking me to unmute <laughs> somewhere at 10 46 just be responsible okay guys are you all clear guys are you all clear yeah in exam you can use t account no worries uh, just uh, t account is more than enough even in in the exam i use the t account guys so i don't think that will be a big issue uh, just if you have enough time and stuff so you can draw that complete format uh, but other than that, uh, like if you are in a hurry or something, uh, no issues, you can use the T account. Guys, are you all clear? Any doubt? For us to move on to the next question. Yeah, guys, no worries. Just uh, use T accounts. Uh, no worries. So in case if you have time or anything, like uh, if you have, if you feel that you have enough time, you can just draw the other account. Guys, can I know, are you people clear? Yeah, in some school, they used to say, guys, uh, teachers will say uh, that they don't give the marks. Uh, but uh, I don't know exactly whether they will be giving the marks or not, guys. Like, that's it I'm saying. If you all have feel, like, if you all feel that you have enough time, you can draw that complete format for life. You can put that ledger for you and all, which they will never give. All those things, and you can draw and waste your time and do that, guys. But I don't think I like, I will not recommend you people to draw the complete account. Definitely to do the final seventh question and all, you need enough amount of time. So better to go with the T account, guys. Uh, because however they are giving four marks here, ne, guys, even if they are cutting, uh, how can they cut the marks here? Obviously, for the completing the sales channel, let's assume they are giving two marks. Let's assume they are giving two marks. He also in their two marks, how to cut for the sixth account, they should give the marks, right? So I don't think they will be cutting marks if you draw the T account because uh, if, if it is like if it is a case where they used to cut the marks in A level also they used to say you know guys uh, uh, draw the complete account in A level they don't care in A level also we used to draw the T account. So if in A level itself if you are drawing the T account why do they stress much on you people to draw the T, uh, complete format? There is no any logic over there right? So if your teacher is an examiner if your teacher is a paper mark or something that might be correct. If she is saying that is correct. But I don't think that your private school teachers are what uh, paper markers or anything. So better you people try the T account because then you can save some time, no guys? Is it clear? Is it clear? Others, others at least give a reply for this. Are you people clear? And are you, can we move on to the next question? Can we move on to the next question? Can we move on to the next question? Yes. Okay. So what is the next question, guys? Uh, yeah. Next question is what? Uh, name the elements of production cost. What are the elements of production cost, guys? Production cost consists of what are the two things you can say? You can say it as what? Prime cost. You can say it as what? Prime cost. And production overhead cost. You can say it as what prime cost and what production overhead cost. Like you can write direct material, direct labor, direct other everything you can write. But better to go with as what production cost and uh, prime cost. That is more accurate and perfect answer for this. Next one is what uh, state to situation where accounting errors can take place. So can I know guys how many situations are there where accounting errors can take place? 
can i know how many situations are there where accounting errors can take place so before moving on to that question guys before moving on to that question can i know can i know what's the process of accounting starting from what starting from source document starting from what source document to what to the ledger account starting from source document sorry not ledger right sorry starting from source document we will be moving on to what prime entry books we will be moving on to what prime entry books we will be moving on to what prime entry books so from prime entry books we will be preparing the what ledgers this is the accounting process now guys ledger from ledger we will be preparing what trial balance so these things all you should know we will be preparing what trial balance from trial balance we will be preparing what financial statements you all should prepare what financial statements now what are they asking where accounting errors can take place ne? now see here guys these are the places where accounting errors can take place i am explaining the theory, theory here these are the places where accounting errors can take place first the accounting error can take place but uh, when we are preparing the prime entry book accounting errors can take place what's the first instance where accounting errors can take place uh, when we record the transactions in prime entry book accounting errors can take place second one is what when transferring to the ledger accounts accounting errors can take place when transferring to the ledger account uh, there can be some errors taking place third one is what when balancing of the ledgers there can be some errors taken place third one is what when balancing of the ledgers you can make some errors and fourth one is what uh, when you are preparing the trial balance also you can make some what errors are you all clear guys simply remember there is nothing for you all to memorize if you all know this accounting process in the accounting process when he do the accounting no guys there can be mistakes taken place uh, what are the instances first thing is in our prime entry book so when he record the transaction in prime entry book he can make some mistakes second one is what when transferring from prime entry book to ledger account he can make some mistakes third one is what uh, when balancing of the ledger account he can make some mistakes fourth one is what uh, when preparing the trial balance also he can make some mistakes so simply these are the four instances are you people clear are you people clear might be a question in your paper are you people clear Guys, are you sleepy? No, right? Can I just give a reply to clear? Are you clear with the instances of uh, accounting errors? These are the instances where accounting errors can take place. So simply these are what guys? Simply these are. This is the accounting process. So when you do the accounting process, these errors can take place. First one when preparing prime entry book. Second one when transferring to ledger. Third one when balancing of the ledger. And fourth one is what when. Uh, preparing the trial balance. So, so here you all can write any of these two as the answer. Third one is what? Second question, some information of Shakti business which produces concrete blocks for the month of August 2017 are as follows. Number of concrete blocks produced during the year. Guys, which formula can I use here? Which formula can I use here? Can I use this formula? Uh, I can use, I can use, I can use what formula? Yeah, I can use this formula, right? Unit cost is equal to Unit cost is equal to unit cost is equal to total production cost. Unit cost is equal to total production cost. Unit cost is equal to total production cost divided by number of units. Number of units. Okay. Total production cost divided by number of units will be equal to unit cost. Now, what can I do, guys? Uh, here, according to this question, they are asking what number of concrete blocks, right? Which means they are asking number of units, right? Uh, so I can take the number of units this side. I can take the what? Number of units here equal total production cost. Let it be as it is. Total production cost. Let it be as it is. Okay. Total production cost. Let it be as it is. Divided by, I took the number of units here means I can take it over unit cost, right? I can just use this uh, cross multiplication. So unit cost, unit cost. Now if I substitute, can I get the answer? I can simply get the answer, right? So number of units, how can I get here? Total production cost, they have given as what? 60,000. What is the unit cost guys here? Cost of a concrete block is how much? 30. So cost of a concrete block is 30. 
I can chop to uh, these two zeros. So three and six I can chop. So what is the unit cost, guys? Sorry, what's the number of unit? Two thousand units. Guys, are you all clear? Just it's a matter of solving this uh, equation. Are you all clear? How did I got the uh, number of units? Are you people clear? How did I got this number of units? Simply I took one equation, guys. I substitute the relevant values and I got the answer. The basic max. Are you people clear? The max is more harder than these questions. No, this is very easy question. Others, others, others. Guys, I can't be saying again and again. Just give a reply quickly. Reply quickly. Clear, right? Yeah. Just put a C. You all don't want to write a, a type completely clear or anything. Just put a C. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one is what, guys? The direct labor cost for the month. Direct labor cost for the month. Okay. Now, now see here, guys. Uh, let me put the formula here. Okay. Total production cost. Total production cost. Total production cost is equal to direct material plus direct labor plus direct labor, plus direct other expense, plus rather than putting everything indirect, 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 let me put as what? Production overhead, as they have given it directly. Now let me substitute the values, guys. Let me substitute the values here. See here, uh, they have given the total production cost, how much? They have given the total production cost, 60,000. Okay. They have given the direct material cost, how much? Direct material cost, they have given 15,000. So we are supposed to find the direct labor. We are supposed to find what? Direct labor. So what is the direct other expense? Uh, direct other expense also they have given as what? 10,000. Okay. Production overhead also they have given as what? Production overhead also they have given as what? 20,000. Now can you people say me what is the value of the direct labor? 15,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000 will give you the answer 45,000. So 45,000 plus there should be a definite uh, 15,000 here, right? So 45,000 plus 15,000 only will give you the answer how much? Will give you the answer 16,000. Here you can what? Uh, you can substitute or you can what? Uh, you can use or you can subject direct labor and get the answer. I'm not going to too much max here because some people out here is allergic with the max, right? So if I use the max also here from next class, they will wonder whether uh, you, you all want to join this or not. So I'm not going to too much max here, guys. So I'm just using the simple way to get the answer. So this side should be equal to this side. So here, if it is 60,000, here I have 45,000. So definitely in, in that gap, there should be a 15,000. Therefore, that direct labor is also how much? 15,000. Next one is what, guys? Following are the uh, following are the certain errors. Following are the state, uh, certain errors occurred in accounting. So they have given some things and they're asking what? Errors that do not affect the agreement of trial balance and errors that affect the agreement of trial balance. So let's go one by one and see if it is not affecting the trial balance, guys. Even though error has been taken place, they are, the debit and credit side of the trial balance will be equal. What is the effect affect the agreement? Affect the agreement can they? like the debit and credit side will be different. The debit and credit side will be what? Different. So let's go one by one and check credit sales of rupees 4,500 has been recorded in the sales journal as 5,400. Now, if you have recorded 5,400 in your sales journal, your sales account will also be recorded by 5,400. Your debtors account will also be recorded by 5,400. Will it make a difference in trial balance or not? Will it make a difference in trial balance or not? I say me, will it make a difference in trial balance or not? Uh, it will not make a difference in trial balance, right? Why? Because both debit and credit entries are made with the same amount, right? Uh, simply remember that if the debit and credit entries are made with the same amount, it will not make a difference in trial balance. Here, this 5,400 only we will be recording, right? Think about this example. If I put here five, uh, in the sales journal, if I put this 5,400 here instead of 3,000, what will happen? Uh, Where is my working sheet? Yeah, here only I did, right? If I put here, let, let's assume I'm putting here, instead of this one, let's assume I'm putting 5,200 uh, or something. So if I put 5,200, the, in this total loss of 5,200 is included, which means my sales account uh, sales account is what? 
added by 5200 also when i opening the vmarch account also i will be putting 5200 right because as i have put 5200 so will it make a difference in trial balance no it will not uh, not make a difference in trial balance reason is what because debit and credit entries are made with the what same amount debit and credit entries are made with the what same amount so therefore i can take a for the first one next one see paid rent uh, rate rupees 1200 has been recorded only in the cash account guys only in the cash account means we have only credited in the cash account but we have not recorded in the uh, rate account we have not debited in the rate account what does that mean uh, we have done only the credit entry right we have not done the debit entry which means definitely there will be a decrease in our debit side by 1200 therefore i can take b here see what's happening uh, so this is also done this is also done next one is what the balance of the electricity expense account rupees 8000 has not been extracted to the trial balance means what definitely it will make a difference in what trial balance if one amount is not extracted it will make a difference no guys next one is what purchase invoice of 6000 has completely omitted from the books you all know what if it is completely omitted we haven't done the debit entry also we haven't done the credit entry so no issue that will not make a difference in trial balance Next one is what paid insurance rupees 2500 has been debited to rate account. Has been debited to what? Rate account. So if it, has, it, if it has been debited to the rate account, instead of debiting insurance name, we are debiting in rate account. So however, somewhere we have done the debit entry, right? However, somewhere we have done the debit entry, right? Which means it will also what? Not make a difference in trial balance. And next one is what? Discount allow of 1300 has been recorded as 3100 only in the debtors account if it is both the discount allowed and debtors account fine it will not affect but here they are recording only in the debtors account as 3100 uh, therefore definitely it will make a what definitely it will make a what difference yes guys correction of accounting errors also will be done in the seminar right? that's a question so will you do the seminar uh, what uh, correction of accounting error also yes each and every unit will be done perfectly yeah? correction of accounting errors also we'll be doing from basics if even if you all don't know what anything you all will be able to understand guys as we do from the basic uh, from introduction to accounting accounting equation double entry everything will be done one by one in each and every session guys why debit why credit all those things will be explained properly guys uh, there's a doubt from a student uh, e part once more sir e part what's happening paid insurance 2500 has been debited to rate account now what you all should understand uh, insurance is an expense. Give me a minute. Yeah. Insurance is an expense. But rate is also an expense. Now, actually, if you are paying insurance, what account should be debited? Uh, insurance account should be debited. Now, here, what are you doing? Uh, without debiting the insurance account, you are debiting the rate account. Without debiting insurance account, you are debiting rate account. No issues, right? Anywhere, somehow, it is an error. But somehow you are doing the debit entry anywhere, right? Somehow you are doing the debit entry, right? Therefore, the uh, is what not effect in trial balance. If what's happening, discount allow 1300 has been recorded as 3100 in the relevant debtors account. Relevant debtors account can, like, if they are saying specifically, only debtors account is recorded as 3100. Discount allowed is recorded as 1300. Debtors account has recorded as 3100. Definitely, if they are recording with the different amount, that will make a difference, right? That will make a difference, right? I hope you all are clear. Guys, uh, there is a question from a student. Uh, uh, want you give a break? Hungry, there is a lollipop mark, there is a burger symbol, and also there is a uh, chicken emoji. Okay, guys, do all want a break? Do all want a break? Do all want a quick break? Uh, no need, it seems. Okay, let's move on, guys. Okay, next one is what? They're asking us to prepare the what? They're asking us to prepare the adjusted bank account and bank reconciliation statement. They're asking us to prepare the what? Adjusted bank account and bank reconciliation statement. Only a few more minutes, no, guys. Let's uh, complete it. After that, you all can take break until tomorrow. Uh, let, only a few more minutes, guys. Let's quickly complete this. Uh, okay. Uh, next one is what guys adjusted bank account and brs so what are you supposed to do so first thing you are supposed to uh, cut off the similar things right first thing you are supposed to cut off the similar thing first first thing what you are supposed to do compare the debit side of the bank account with the credit side of the bank statement so here 18500 is there 18500 is there 9000 is there 9000 is there 
16,000 is it there? No. So 16,000 you can put a what? Box. Here also this 8,000 is untick. Therefore you can put a box. Next one is what? This 3,000 is there. This 3,000 is also there. So in one class I explain you all in depth. That's it. I'm doing quickly. Yeah? So this 4,000 is there. This 4,000 is also there. Next one. Do you have this 20,000? No, you don't have this 20,000. So therefore you can circle it. Here also this 5,000 is also what? Untick item. Now using these circled items only you are going to prepare. Using this here. Using the circle stuff, you have circled some things. Are uh, using this information only? You are going to prepare your what? Adjusted bank account and bank reconciliation statement. Using this information only, you are going to prepare what? Adjusted bank account and bank reconciliation statement. Let me quickly take it to the working sheet. Okay, so uh, let me draw my what? Let me draw my what? Adjusted bank account. So here I can put it as what? Here I can put it as what? Here I can put it as what? Adjusted bank. Adjusted bank account. And also I can draw my what? I can draw my uh, bank reconciliation statement. I can draw my what? Bank. Reconciliation statement. Okay, so here I can put as well balance as per adjusted adjusted bank account plus plus unpresented unpresented checks here you can put as what minus unrealized unrealized checks here you can put as what balance as per balance as per bank statement okay okay so let me quickly do it guys so what is the opening balance of the adjusted bank account uh, i told you people that that day itself but the closing balance of the bank account will be the opening balance of the adjusted bank account here this is the what guys this is the closing balance of the bank account which means that will be the opening balance of the what adjusted bank account so this is what Unrealized check 16,000. I can put it over here as what? 16,000. So unrealized check should be deducted. So I can put a what? Bracket. So this is what? Uh, this 20,000 is what? Unpresented check. So I can put unpresented check as a positive figure. Next one is what? This direct remittance is a positive figure 8,000. So direct, direct remittance. Okay. Direct remittance. I can put it here as what guys, 8,000, okay. Next one is what? Next one is what? Uh, standing order payment, right? So how much is the value of standing order payment? 5,000. So here standing order payment insurance, right? So insurance, I can put it as what? 5,000. Now what are you supposed to do guys? Simply balance this off. Uh, can I know what's the answer guys? 16,500 plus uh, 8,000 will give you the answer how much? 16,500 plus 8,000 will give you the answer 24,500, 24,500. So here also you can put as what? Here also you can put as what? 24,500. So balance carried down is what? Balance carried down is 24,500. Balance brought forward is what? 24,000. 500. So balance as per adjusted bank account, you can put it over here as what? 24,500. Okay. 24,500. 
So 24,500 plus uh, 20,000 will be equal to 44,500. 44,500. Uh, sorry, 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 guys. Uh, it is minus 5,000, right? It is minus 5,000. So 24,500 minus, uh, you should deduct that 5,000, sorry. Okay, 24,500 minus 5,000 will give you the answer. 19,500 so balance brought forward is also 19,500 so you can put that 19,500 over here okay so 19,500 plus 20,000 19,500 plus 20,000 minus 16,000 will give you the answer how much okay Guys, uh, unrealized so unrealized check yeah, like the unticked items in the debit side of the bank account is unrealized check. The unticked item on the credit side of the bank account is known as unpresented check. Simple as that. Okay. So what's the total, guys? Can I know the total quickly? Can I know the total quickly? So 19,500 plus 20,000 will give you the answer. Uh, 39,500, 39,500 minus uh, 10,000 will be equal to uh, 39,000 means uh, 29,500, 29,500 minus 6,000 will be equal to 23,500. Now see here guys, these two amounts should be equal. If you have done everything correctly, these two amounts should be equal. In your exam paper also, you all can confirm your answer whether each these two things are equal or not guys can i know quickly are you all clear can i quickly know are you all clear can i quickly know are you all clear let's complete this paper guys let's complete this paper today i don't want to stop and also guys uh, there's a plan for me to do because there are only four four more weeks no so we are doing two class for a week we are doing two class for a week so i thought of completing one week for a pay, uh, one paper for a week so that means what, uh, so in April, we have four weeks, right? So in April, we have four weeks. So in four weeks, first week of April, I can complete 2018, second week, 2019, third week, 2020, and fourth week, I can complete the 2021. So the day before your exam or in between, I can put and complete the 2022 paper. So we are going according to a plan, guys. In between, we have the seminar series also. So try to join the seminar series in case if you couldn't complete anything, I'll be putting an extra class. So the classes is conducted every Wednesday and Friday, 9.30 to 11.30. So today we will be having the class again, Monday, our seminar series starting from uh, for the accounting. Again, we have the past paper session, fee session on 27th. And again, sorry, not 27. Uh, next month we have a third. So you are in the group, right? I'll be updating the relevant messages in the group. So please go through that. Please go through that. And also that's our target guys. So in one day we will be completing every MCQ. Next day we will be completing all the structured questions. Next day again 2019 MCQ and then structure. And again the following week in third week you will be completing 2020 MCQ and 2020 uh, structured in the Friday class. So that's our plan guys. Uh, seminar is starting on uh, 1st of April guys. Uh, we will be starting our accounting seminar series. So in case if you want any details so you can just drop me a WhatsApp text. I hope you are like the group. So without further delay, guys, so let me quickly start off this question and finish this. What is seventh question? Okay. What is the objective of preparing trade account? What is mean by trade account, guys? Are you all aware what is trade account? Are you all aware what is trade account? Here. Yeah. Uh, before the class, I just leave this, guys. What is trade account here? Yeah. Wait. Before the class, I just took it, guys. Here. Yeah. This part is considered as trade account here. Yeah. From sales to cost of sale, the complete thing we call it as statement of profit or loss. Until the gross profit only, we call it as what, guys? Until the gross profit only, we call it as what? Trade account. Until the gross profit only, we call it as what? Trade account. Okay. So, what is the main purpose of uh, preparing the trade account? What is the main purpose of preparing the trade account? What is the main purpose of preparing the trade account? To calculate the what? To calculate the to calculate the gross profit what is the main purpose of preparing the trade account guys to calculate the gross profit guys not profit or loss remember if you put to calculate profit or loss it will be wrong eh? you should write as what to calculate the gross profit okay you should specifically say it as what 
to calculate the gross profit. Next one is what? Write the double entry relevant to the accrued expenses. So I'm not going to go in much detail here, guys. So simply all should know the double entry as what? Expense account debit, expense account debit, expense account debit, okay, expense account debit, accrued expense account credit. It's a liability in it. Accrued ex in seminar, I'll teach all in detail, guys, in the financial statement, our fi final seminar, fi not final seminar in the sense, uh, seminar four in our accounting series. I'll explain what is this accrued and all. So accrued expense account will be what? Credit. So this is the double entry for the what? B part. This is the double entry for the what? B part. Okay. Yes. Expense account debit, accrued expense account credit. Okay. Next one is what the number of members in uh, Money Mutu Sports Association is to, uh, in 2016 is 100. The annual membership fee per member is 100. The membership, the receipt and payment account prepared for the year 2016 is as follows. The income statement of Money Mutu Sports Association for the year 2016. Guys, can I know in income statement, what do we include? In income statement, uh, what do we include, guys? Guys, uh, in income statement, what do we include? Guys, uh, I'm receiving a question. Uh, in the answer sheet, they have given computing profit or loss for relevant period. Guys, uh, don't write it as profit or loss. It is not the accurate answer. Make sure, I don't know which publication you are using. Uh, don't write it as uh, to calculate profit or loss. Write it as what? To calculate the gross profit. Huh? That is the most accurate answer. Uh, in income statement, what do we record? In income statement, we do record the what? The income and expenses for the period. In income statement, we do record what? Income and expense for the period. So let me draw a income statement here. I think this space is sufficient. So let me quickly draw our income statement here. Okay. Let me quickly draw what income statement here. So this is what income. This is what income. And here I can put as what expenses. Income and what expense. So here I can put the heading as what income statement. Here I can put the heading as what income statement. Okay. So let's do one by one. See, let's do one by one. Let me, yeah, let's do one by one. See how many members are there? The number of members in one Mito sports club is 100. Per member, they should pay 100. So what is the annual membership fee? Annual membership fee. Annual membership. 100 into 100. What's the answer? Uh, 100 into 100 will give you the answer. 10,000. 100 into 100 or 100 into 100 will give you the answer. How much? 10,000. As I don't have any other income, I'll directly take it to the what? Second column itself. So what are the expenses I have? Guys, uh, last class also I explained you all, right? Purchase of sports equipment, is it an expense? Purchase of sports equipment, is it an expense? Uh, it is not an expense, right? So I told you it is an asset for the business. Sports equipment, it's an asset for the business. Therefore, we don't take it to our income statement. Income statement is relevant for income and expense. Uh, therefore, I will not take it. Expenses for pavilion, I can take, right? It's an expense for what? Pavilion. So I can take it as what? Uh, pavilion expense. I can take it as what? Pavilion expense. Pavilion expense. 3000. Okay. Next one is what? Sports advisor fee. Yes, I can take sports advisor. How much? 5000. Okay, so total of this will be how much? 8,000. Expense should be deducted. So 10,000 is the income. 8,000 is the expenses. This 2,000 is what, guys? This 2,000 is what? Can you know what's the word we are, we are supposed to use? Is it, uh, can we use it as what? Can we say as, uh, can we say it as profit? Uh, very good. We are supposed to say it as what? Surplus. Guys, uh, here you all should write. Eh? As I don't have space, I'm using this. Make sure that you people write it here. Below the sports advertising, your uh, sport advisor fee, you all can write it as what? Surplus. Guys, are you okay with income statement? Current asset or non-current asset, guys, whatever the asset, we don't include any income statement. Guys, there's a question. Why is that? Because anyway, sports equipment. Guys, uh, how can you consider the sports equipment as an expense? It's an asset for the business, right? Come on, sports equipment is an asset. 
So what about that 7,000 membership? We don't consider that 7,000 membership fee. That 7,000 is a received amount, which is already they have given in the recipient payment account, right? So we don't want to take it to the income statement. Guys, are you all clear? Guys, are you all clear? Can you all give a reply quickly for me to move on to the income statement? Are you all clear? Just put a C quickly. If you all are clear. Right, uh, are you all clear? Yes, right. Let's move on to this question, guys. Here, um, let me take it to my working sheet. I hope you all can see it. Just don't see the above part, guys. Uh, it is 2025 theory class notes. Uh, just you all concentrate over here. Let's do one by one. Okay. So first one, they have given some additional information. No? So let me start it from the additional information and let me quickly do it, guys. Uh, it will not take too much time. Uh, let me quickly do it. Okay. Let me quickly do this one. Finish it off. First one is what? Closing stock. They have given 28,000. So you all know closing stock. I can put it over here as well. Wait, let me increase the size. Yeah, I can put it as what? Closing stock. Closing stock. As what? 28,000. 28,000. 20, okay, closing stock 28,000. So here also I can put in the bracket as what? 28,000. So first adjustment is over. Very simple adjustment. Second one is what? Distribution vehicle should be depreciated 10% on straight line method. So what is the depreciation? Here, distribution vehicle cost is how much? 250,000. So, can I get the depreciation, guys? Can I get the depreciation? So, annual depreciation is equal to how much? 250,000 is the cost into how many percentage? 10 percentage. So, annual depreciation is how much? 25,000. So, here I can put as what? Vehicle distribution vehicle. Distribution vehicle depreciation. For the year, what's our expense, guys? Uh, only 25,000. Now, when I record it under the non-current asset, so here I can put as what? Here I can put as what? Distribution vehicle. Distribution vehicle. So, what's our cost, guys? Uh, cost is 250,000. Here, yeah. cost is 250,000. What is the accumulated depreciation? Uh, in the accumulated depreciation, always remember, there will be two things included. What is the two things included? Like what are the two things normally will be included? The opening provision will be included. For the opening provision, we should add the annual depreciation. So opening provision was how much? The opening provision was 30,000. The annual depreciation was 25,000. Therefore, total accumulated depreciation is how much? 55,000. 55,000. So second adjustment is also over. Third one is what? Prepaid insurance 2000. So we all know what? Uh, prepaid insurance is a what? Current asset. So prepaid insurance is how much? 2000. Prepaid insurance is how much? 2000. Now go for the trial balance. See how much you have paid as insurance. See how much you have paid as insurance. Uh, here you have paid 12,000 as insurance, right? So out of these 12,000, you have paid 2,000 for the next accounting period, which is prepaid insurance. So for your current accounting period, what's your expense? Even though you have paid 12,000, your insurance expense for the period is how much? Insurance, insurance is how much, guys? You have paid 12,000. Out of that 12,000, you have paid 2,000 for next year and uh, therefore, you should deduct that, right? Why? Because it is not the expenditure for the current period, right? Uh, therefore, 12,000 you have paid, 2,000 you have paid it for the next year. Therefore, only 10,000 is your expenditure for the period. Guys, are you people clear with the adjustments? Are you people clear with the adjustments? 
Guys, accumulated depreciation means it is the total depreciation. Remember like that. It is the total depreciation. Guys, are you all clear? Everyone, everyone, others, others, others. Only few more minutes. Are you all clear? Now it is just a matter of recording one by one and going. Now see here, let's go one by one. Capital is 200,000. So here I can put as what? Here I can put as what? Capital. Here I can put as what? Capital 200,000. Capital 200,000. Next one is what? So next one is what guys? Uh, wait. Yeah. Next one is what? So first one is done. Capital is done. Distribution vehicle we completed. Uh, next one is what? Opening stock is how much? 35,000. So here I can just put it as what? 35,000. So opening stock is how much? 35,000. Next one is what? Uh, this one you all should note a bit guys. What are they saying? 12 percentage bank loan is how much? 50,000. So here you can put as what? Here you can put as what? Bank loan. Here you can put as what? Bank loan. How much? 50,000. So last class also I explained you these things, right? Bank loan is what? 50,000. Yes, guys, all the YouTube uh, previous recordings are uploaded to the YouTube. You all can just type my name. You all will be able to get the channel. Now, what's the bank loan, guys? Uh, annual bank loan is 50,000. Here, yeah. annual, uh, sorry, uh, bank loan you have taken as what? 50,000. Now, how many percentage you are supposed to pay as interest? Uh, 12 percentage you are supposed to pay as interest, right? So, 50,000 you have taken as the bank loan. How many percentage you should pay as interest? You should pay 12 percentage interest. So 50,000 into 12 percentage for an year, how much you should pay as interest? For an year, how much are you supposed to pay as interest? Uh, you should pay 6,000 as interest, right? So here you can put as what? Here you can put as what? Bank loan interest. Here you can put as what? Bank loan interest. This is the annual expense, no guys? So bank loan interest is how much? Bank loan interest is how much? 6,000. So that is fine, we put it. Now once after go along the trial balance here, Methana, they have given again a 4,000, right? What is this 4,000? Uh, you should pay 6,000 for an year, but you have settled by cash only 4,000. You should pay 6,000, but you have paid only 4,000. Therefore, there is an accrued bank loan interest. Therefore, what? There is a what? Accrued or there is a payable bank loan interest. Accrued bank loan interest is how much? 2,000. Simply, how did I got this 2,000, guys? I calculated that 50,000 bank loan amount into 12 percentage and I got this 6,000 as my annual bank loan interest. So annual expenditure should be taken to the profit or loss. Uh, so I took this 6,000. Now when I go along the trial balance, when I go along the trial balance, 6,000 is my annual expenditure. Out of that 6,000, I have paid 4,000. Uh, therefore, that difference, the remaining 2,000, uh, that is considered as what? accrued bank loan interest which is a liability which we have not paid yet so that is there now all the other things are simple guys so insurance we already adjusted insurance we already adjusted uh sales is how much 220,000 so i can put it over here as what 220,000 and next one is what uh purchases is how much 170,000 so i can put here as what 170,000 okay next one is what uh Data is how much? 30,000. So I can put it here as what? Data. I can put it here as what? Data's 30,000. I can put it here as what? Data 30,000. And next one I can put as what? Creditors 40,000. So here I can put as what? Here I can put as what? Creditors. Creditors 40,000. Here I can put as what? Creditors 40,000. And next one is what discount received 4,000 is an income. So here I can put as what discount. Discount received 4,000. And next one is what discount allowed 2,500. Guys, can I know what expense is discount allowed? Discount allowed is a what expense? Uh, it's a what distribution expense, right? So discount. Discount. Allowed. 2,500 and next one is what the bank loan interest we already adjusted and there is a bad debt of how much? 1,000. So I can put it here as what? Bad debts. Bad debts is how much? 1,000. Next one electricity charges 1,500. So I can put it here as what? 
electricity 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 1500 and next one is what rates 2000 and administrative expense 6000 right so here i can put as what rates 2000 okay administrative administrative expense administrative expense 6000 and next one finally i have what cash balance 30000 so i can put it over here as well cash balance uh, cash balance 30000 cash balance is how much 30000 yeah so now what am i supposed to do guys simply get the total right so can i know the total quickly 35,000 plus 170,000 minus 28,000 will give you the answer how much? Can I quickly uh, say me the values? 35,000 plus 170,000 minus 28,000 will give you the answer how much? 177,000. So this is your cost of sales. So from your sales, if you deduct the cost of sales, uh, 220,000 minus 177,000 will give you the answer how much? 43,000. So 43,000 is the gross profit. So for that, I can add this 4,000. For that, I can add this 4,000. So here, what's the total of the administration expense, guys? 10,000 plus 1,500. Okay, 10,000 plus uh, uh, insurance expense is how much? Uh, 10,000, 10,000 plus 1,500. Can I know the total, guys? Can I know the total? 10,000 plus 1,500, 10,000 plus 1,500 plus 2,000 plus 6,000 is the answer is 19,500. Guys, uh, like, can I know the totals quickly? 19,500. 19,000 what? 500. So if the total of the administration expense is 19,500, what's the total of the distribution expense, guys? 25,000, 26,000, 27,000, uh, 27,000, 28,000. 500 these are expenses so i can put our bracket next one is what so here i can put as what here i can put as what 6000 so there is no any other expenses there is no any other expenses so here i can put as what here i can put as what net profit here i can put as what net profit or loss okay so i can get just deduct the amounts and get the answer guys i can just deduct the amounts and get the answer so what is my gross profit my gross profit is 43000 my other income is 4,000 minus what are my expenses? Administration expense is 19,500. Distribution expense is 20,000, 28,500 minus and uh, my finance expense is 6,000. Therefore, what's my total loss, guys? What's my total loss? My total loss is how much? 7,000. So as it is a loss, I can put in bracket as what? 7,000. It is a negative figure. So you all know... Profit or loss is a component of what? Profit or loss is a component of equity. So here you can put as what? Here you can put as what? Net loss. Here you can put as what? Net loss. What's the net loss amount? Uh, net loss is 7,000. So you can put a bracket. Now here you all can get the total guys. 250,000 minus uh, 55,000 will give you the answer. 195,000. So here you can get the answer. 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 plus uh, 30 will be equal to? 90,000. 60 plus uh, 30 will be equal to how much, guys? 90,000. Guys, in case if I put any different values, when I get the total, let me know, okay? 28,000 plus 2,000 will be equal to 30,000. 30 plus 30 plus 30 will give you the answer. 90,000. So, 90 plus 195,000 will be equal to how much? 195,000 plus 90,000 will give you the answer. 285,000 is equal to how much? 285. 5,000. It is equal to 285,000. Next one is what, guys? So here you all can get this total. Here you all can get this total. 200,000 minus 7,000. What's the answer? 200,000 minus 7,000. What's the answer, guys? Can I know what's the answer? 200,000 minus 7,000. What's the answer? Is it uh, 193,000? 193,000. Here I can put as what? Here I can put as what? Uh, 50,000. So 40,000 plus 2,000 will be equal to 42,000. So 42,000, 42,000 plus 193,000 
plus 50,000 will give you the answer how much? 285,000. So what is this guys? This is what? Total equity, total equity and liabilities. And here, what is this? This is what? Total assets. So this is what guys, total assets, 285,000. Total equity and liability is also equal. So one thing I, I forgot to put guys, you all should put the what? The name of the business. What's the name of the business? Ranga Trading, right? So here you can put as what? Ranga Trading Business. Okay. For the year ended. For the for the year ended. 31st December 2016. So here also you can see at us Ranga Trading Business. Ranga Trading Business as at 31st December 2016. Guys, did you all understand this question? Did you all understand this question? I think difficult thing is the same adjustments only they are they are repeating again and again, right? Guys, can I know did you all understand this? Yeah, without putting bracket, you can put minus 7,000 also, but better to put as bracket. Because there is a question say in answer scheme, uh, they are as uh, 283,000. How come 200? In which, uh, in answer scheme, in ask, answer scheme, have they given as uh, 283,000? In answer scheme, uh, the, uh, do anyone have the answer scheme with you? Have they given... Uh, Two hundred and eighty-three thousand. Some people are like yes, some people are like no. Uh, wait, let me check. Uh, guys, uh, check uh, the ones who are saying it as two hundred and eighty-three thousand. Check in your past paper for the insurance. Have they taken twelve thousand? Check. Have they taken twelve thousand for the insurance? Guys, the ones who are saying it as 283,000 in your past paper, check for the insu uh, for the insurance, have they taken uh, 12,000? Uh, then if they are taking 12,000, it's wrong. Eh? It's 12,000, it can't be 12,000. The correct one should be 285,000. The past paper is incorrect. The past paper answer is incorrect. It should be, uh, it should equal to 285,000. Eh? You people understood, ne? Guys, prepaid insurance is a uh, current asset. I'll explain in the... Uh, Seminar because it is a long part here, guys. Along with the double entry, uh, guys, past paper some answers are incorrect in the past paper. Don't go wrong. In case if you come across any doubt or clarification, just drop me a text. It can be you might come for my class or not. It like anything you might not come for class or come for my class or anything. If you come across any doubt, just let me know. I'm not so rude to say that you all should come for my class to clear doubts or anything. If you come across any doubt like this, then let me know. Okay, guys, did you all understand the ones? Uh, the ones who are here, can you all, uh, like, are you all clear with this? Can I quickly give a reply? Is it shape clear? The ones who need a screenshot, you all can just take it quickly. Okay, guys, uh, by tomorrow or something, the seminar series uh, registration will be closed. Uh, uh, Monday, we will be starting the seminar, guys, at 8.30 p.m. In case if you all have any other classes, no issues, I'll be able to provide you all the recording. So the ones who are registering, just join and register as soon as possible. Uh, in case if you all come across any doubt, you all can let me know. Accounting will be doing from basic to advanced, guys. Uh, until from the uh, what introduction to accounting, we will be doing until the financial statement in four seminar. The ones who join for the business study seminar would know. Others, uh, in case if you all have uh, come across any doubt or any clarification or anything, you all can drop me a text. Others, the ones who are joining for the seminar series, you all can uh, register as soon as possible and do the necessary things and. Join as soon as possible. By tomorrow, I'll send you all the tubes, guys. So make sure to take a printout of the tubes and keep. The business studies recordings are also, yes, available. You all can purchase it if you need. Other than that, guys, so that's all for today. And stay safe and study well. So we'll meet again in, uh, yeah, we'll meet again Monday in our seminar series. Others, as usual, on Wednesday in our past paper session. So till then, guys, uh, stay safe, study well, and make sure that you all attend the live session in case if it is an emergency or something. Just check the recording through YouTube. And also, guys, yeah, that's all for today. So till then, stay safe and study well.